Warning, the information that I'm going to be sharing with you, the government does not want you to know it, nor do your parents. So be prepared, this will blow your mind. It might even blow your soul. What's going on guys, this is Purple Grizzly, and I'm back with another commentary. Uh, what I'm going to be sharing with you today is the true story of what happens on Christmas night. Who really is that man behind that red coat? Who's the man behind that white beard? It's not some jolly fat guy that gives presents, I can tell you that. So prepare yourself, this commentary will be a little controversial, and your ears may not be willing to comprehend what I'm about to share with you. So let me walk you through what you actually think happens on the night before Christmas. We all go to sleep on the night of December 24th, and we all wake up the next morning very excited. Uh, we, we go downstairs into our living room, and we find all these presents beneath our Christmas tree. How did they get there? Who put them there? That's There's lots of questions uh, like that that people have going through their minds. And our government, and our even parents that are in on this, want us to believe that it was placed there by this man named Santa Claus who wears a big fluffy red suit who flies around the world in one night in a red sleigh. That sleigh that's drawn by flying reindeer that poop candy and happy feelings. And where did he get all these toys? Did he get them off eBay? No. He has a whole magical team of elves in the North Pole working all year long to craft the next season's hottest toys. So you think Santa Claus is the one who brings you presents on Christmas morning? Uh, I can tell you that you're wrong. In fact, it's your parents that wrap the presents, that put them under the tree, and tell you they're from Santa Claus. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying Santa Claus is fake, and I'm not saying he's imaginary. He is very real, but he is not the man you think he is. He is in fact very dangerous and very crafty. He is a drug lord, and he is the head of all the sex slave trade and everything horrible in this world. He is not someone you want to put your hope and cheer in. Drugs bring in billions and billions of dollars each year. It is one of the most profitable businesses on the planet. Everything from methamphetamine to crack cocaine to, to marijuana. It is, it is very profitable. And Santa Claus is the man who produces all of it. All these elves, or I should say slaves, are in the North Pole producing these narcotics. Not out of free will, but in chains. Santa Claus has enslaved all the people of olden times that you hear about in magical stories of Lord of the Rings and, and Harry Potter. All these dwarves and elves, he has enslaved them all and has forced them into being sex slaves and producing narcotics for this world. He goes down the chimneys of every single house in the world, not to deliver toys, but to distribute these drugs. He... It's, it's almost like it's perfect for him. I mean, look at today's society. We all portray Santa Claus as this happy, cheerful guy that delivers presents that, that he made with his elves out of the kindness of his heart that I mean, it's like, he's like the nicest guy ever. I mean, how, how perfect of a front is that for distributing drugs? I mean, no one would ever suspect it of him. I mean, be careful. Next time you're looking through your stockings, you, you're not going to pull out a candy bar. You're not going to pull out an Xbox game. You might pull out a crack pipe. There's something I want to encourage you to do. Next time you're at the local shopping mall, and you go to sit on Santa's lap and tell him what you want for Christmas... Don't answer with a materialistic thing. Don't say, Santa, I want a pony. I want an Xbox for Christmas. I want my two front teeth. Answer with something like this. Saint Nick, Purple Grizzly told me what you have been doing. And we want justice. That's what we want for Christmas. We will burn you to the ground and watch your tyranny shatter into ashes. So this Christmas, let's not focus on things like greed. Let's not focus on, oh, what present am I going to get? I hope I got this new Xbox game. And let's not fuel St. Nick's drug trade and his his sex slave marketing and, 
and all this badness that he creates and brings into this world. All I'm going to ask you to do, in the Christmas spirit, like and favorite this video, share it with your friends, and help me stop this evil man, and let's take our Christmas back. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's commentary, and hopefully it did entertain you. Uh, like I said, this is a very controversial topic, and you may believe it, you may not, but I know Santa Claus is not the man who we think he is. I could be wrong. He could be a nice guy, but there is something. There is something about him that makes my skin crawl, and I will find out what it is. So always remember, guys, my name is Purple Grizzly, and have a very... Merry Christmas, or Happy Hanukkah, if you're Jewish like my friend Rabbi. Uh, yeah, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.